This module introduces the landing gear, brakes, and nose wheel steering. The landing gear consists of two main gear and one nose gear. The main gear retract inward and the nose gear retracts forward. Each gear assembly is equipped with two wheels and an oleo pneumatic shock strut. The main gear wheels are equipped with carbon brakes, anti-skid brakes, auto brakes, brake temperature monitoring systems, and brake fans. The nose gear is equipped with a nose wheel steering system. The landing gear is normally extended and retracted by the green hydraulic system. Landing gear doors are both mechanically and hydraulically operated. All doors close after each Landing gear doors are both mechanically and hydraulically operated. All doors close after each retraction. However, the doors and fairings that are attached to the strut do not retract while the gear is extended. Landing gear doors are both mechanically and hydraulically operated. All doors close after each retraction. However, the doors and fairings that are attached to the strut do not retract while the gear is extended. Two landing gear control and interface units, or LGCIUs, control the extension or retraction of the gear and the operation of the doors. They also supply information about the landing gear to the Flight Warning System, or FWS. Normal control of the landing gear is provided by a landing gear selector lever and the associated inputs from the LGCIUs. Notice that the controls for the auto brakes, nose wheel steering, and brake fans are all located on the landing gear indicator panel. The wheel page displays landing gear and landing gear doors position. It also displays anti-skid brake operation, brake temperatures, and nose wheel steering information. Additional displays appear during abnormal conditions. Hydraulic pressure is automatically removed at air speeds above 260 knots or whenever the landing gear lever is in the up position. If normal extension of the gear is not available, gravity extension is available through mechanical control by operation of a hand crank located at the aft end of the pedestal.
The nose wheel steering is controlled by the Brake and Steering Control Unit, or BSCU, and is also operated by the yellow hydraulic system. Steering control is available through the steering hand wheels, the rudder pedals, and the autopilot. The maximum steering angle is reduced as the ground speed increases. The maximum steering angle available through use of the steering hand wheels is plus or minus 75 degrees, while the maximum steering angle available through the use of the rudder pedals is plus or minus 6 degrees. A tow control lever is positioned during pushback and tow, which allows ground personnel to turn the nose wheel up to plus or minus 95 degrees. The main wheel brakes are operated by one of two braking systems, normal or alternate. The normal brake system operates from green hydraulic system pressure, while the alternate brake system operates from yellow system pressure. Switch over from normal to alternate brakes is automatic upon green system pressure loss. The brakes are manually applied by pressing on the top of the rudder pedals. All wheel brakes are equipped with anti-skid operation. Anti-skid normally operates whether the green hydraulic system or the yellow hydraulic system is providing the brake pressure. An auto brake system is installed to provide maximum efficiency and comfort during brake operations. The auto brake system uses green hydraulic system pressure and is only available through the normal brake system. The parking brake operates from yellow system and accumulator pressure. Yellow system brake and accumulator pressure is displayed on the brakes and accumulator pressure indicator. Well, this completes our introduction to the landing gear, brakes, and nose wheel steering. Now, let's answer some questions.